Hello, thank you Rachel for the 17, oh my gosh, almost 18 months and you got the boiga, <laughs> thank you Rachel, Rx hello, Gorilla hello, Zero hello, <laughs> what else we got, that's it, sweet 17, what did you get up to when you were 17, I didn't get up too much when I was 17, Right, music. That's better. better. How's it going? Nice cards, RX. I was just uh, looking on this uh, on this call when you're talking about your cards. Holy Moses, that's a lot of cards, bro. Where is it now? Other hobbies. There you go. Jeez, are you gonna collect all those? There's no way. It's so expensive. There's a template for this. So you have to follow them all over the world to get the cards. Jesus. I'm about to change hobby right now. More rave music? No, this is uh, Spotify Lo Fi. Chill and Lo Fi, it's called. Copyright free. Thank you, Rx. I have Starbucks at home, or is this Starbucks at? I have Starbucks at home, or is this Starbucks at home? <laughs> I have a new coffee machine. It's the um, Nestle something or other to make lattes and stuff. Pretty good. <clears throat> I was supposed to build a uh, Garuda's Tech Shinobi today, but I had a, a rush service that I need to get done because I'm a little bit behind in, in builds right now. So I thought, ah, might as well build it today, which is the Mode 65 with a brass booty. I'm a little scared of brass. Hopefully it doesn't happen to this brass. Bloody heavy though. Mm. 
There's a lot of last minute stuff that I haven't done yet. Give me a moment, please. self-promote myself real quick <clears throat> excuse me Oh, do you see the new keycaps are posted on you? Yes, I saw. It's actually better. It looks better than Olivia Dark. You know, with a bit of grey in there. It looks really, really nice. Do you need to loop switches on street? No, I don't. I don't want to do that. Honestly, I think it's watching Doctor Strange tonight. Oh! Oh yeah, cinema is back open now. I also heard... Um... They are increasing the limit to eight people now, is it? <clears throat> Hello, Olivia. No, it's, that's not the... No, it's... Uh, it's. I don't know what it is, actually. The grey and pink goes... Yeah, it does go really well. I like the three-colour tone to keycap sets. Dual tones are a bit... Eh, but... Uh, triple tones are nice. I think it goes really well. Domni key set, that's right, yeah. How is it compared to GMK and other stuff? I've never tried Domni key before. Also, I heard that there's a new um, railway line to Central from really close to where I live in Shatin. That's open today, I think, or something. So it's going to be really, really convenient for me to go to Central now. I'll just go take the train. Well, it's convenient anyway. I just take the bus, but you can take the train now, which is pretty awesome. But next week, oh, it might be next week that I might have misheard, but it's like really close to opening. Very, very excited. Not that I'll go there very much, but it makes it more convenient if I need to go. Go straight to Wan Chai, right? So, a lot of like necessary government buildings, like uh, Inland Revenue and all that stuff, or uh, what you call it, the uh, embassies, international embassies are there too. So it's like really convenient to go there now. I'm using a different lens today. Um, I pre-ordered a new lens. So there's no, this is a prime lens, so there's no zooming or anything like that. I don't think anything's changed. Sharpness and everything should be better, but probably not more visible. This brass weight though. Oh, it's brand new. Oof. Might change it out with mine. This is clean. This looks... This looks brassier? This looks brassier than mine, wait.
Oh, not really. Just looks a bit darker. Or does it? It does look a bit darker. Banana boy, hey! What's up? But Dominique is on the rise. Jim K is still better, but Dominique is on the rise. Damn. Might need to check out a set when I get a chance. I wish I kept one of my Olivia sets. I, I sold them off. Hopefully to do another rerun. So black and brass. I'm gonna keep this build nice and simple. I'm gonna put Jimki white and black on this. Nice clean black build. Where's our cables? Pull up every... Tr Fina, Fina pull up every stream, just ask. Oh, gonna pull up every stream just to ask. Wait, is, is he, does he owe you a cable? <laughs> he's at the cinema. So we've heard he's watching Doctor Strange. <laughs> he's like, screw your cable. I'm gonna watch Doctor Strange. Damn, this brass plate as well. So much packaging. Is all this packaging necessary? It was it was nice at the start, but after building like, I don't know, I've probably built like eight mode 65s now and is it? Is it becoming annoying? I don't know. But it's nice. I'm protected, so it's so it's good. Yeah, there's some issues with color match for some cables. Not sure if it's color rewarded though. No, look at me. 77 Vega with us. Really? 77 RX? Jesus. Well, that's a feat right there. 77 videos. It's really yellow. It's nice though. Nice to build a, a brass build. Brass has been phasing out recently. Well, it's phased out for quite a while now. It's not really a thing anymore in the keyboard hobby brass plates so it's nice to uh, to build a brass one today I think he's playing on 1.16 playing on 1.16 <laughs> what counter strike So I don't think it matters too much on what mount we go for because it's silent tactile so we're going stack mount tonight. This is my second soldered 
not 65, but I think. Shiny? Yeah, it's gonna be hella shiny. Drop V2 snaps for mold. How cool is that? Right, we'll test the PCB first. I counted 54, that's that's enough already. 77, 54 makes no difference. It's like crazy, crazy amount of videos. I mean, it's not on the Vega, is it? It's on your Switches. Hello, my favorite stream have keyboard. <laughs> Thank you so much. How's it going? How are you? I've noticed. You see, oh, you don't see, give me a sec. Where's fire? So, I don't know if you guys can see, can you see? You know, you don't see. Don't you see how it says, more 65 m 65 s And then there's another one called Mode 65 Ha Alpha. I think this one's mine. Yeah, this one's mine and this one's the client's. Mode 65 M65S. Interesting. It's different. Does this have ISO layout? Does the Mode 65 have ISO layout? It does! Nice! I kind of missed the big enter. It's been a while since um, I moved to Hong Kong and it's been... God knows how many years? Like 10? plus years right. since I've been in Hong Kong and I've been used to um, the US layout
kind of miss that fat end to some novelties that come with keycap sets have really nice fat enters. For example, Jim K Stargaze. Jim K Stargaze has a nice fat enter. So I might do one for a build one day. All right, Duck Thumbs, see you in a bit. Just gonna FC mod these. Just the space bar. I wish TX tabs were in stock all the time. But it looks like it won't happen anytime soon. They're selling out every time. People are buying tons of them tons and tons for themselves I managed to grab two in the last drop on Taobao because it was limited to two, pi two pieces per person so I'll be using those on my ah, ah, pull the muscle I'll be using that on my um, personal builds whenever they come. I'm just going to turn my phone off. Six steps are kind of nice. Saves the hassle of modding your, your own stabs. Um, it's more consistent. But I think Jurok stabs are still, still pretty good. Oh, I also received the switch breaking machine, break in machine. I'll show it you guys later. It's loud as hell. I tried it on some creams and vintage blacks and uh Hell yeah, it does work. 
but you need to leave it on for like twenty plus hours or so. So you have to put up with it. I have to turn it on in my room. So it's like right next to me, banging away really loud. It's quite annoying, but sometimes I just leave it and then I'll leave the house and come back to it after a couple of hours. But after two days of breaking it in, breaking in, breaking in like vintage blacks and creams, so hell yeah, it's like mad smooth so smooth that the creams were so smooth that you the switches actually feel slippery with no friction if that makes sense crazy smooth oh yeah you have to put up with it for like 20 hours though And you have to watch it every so often because it does get hot. I bought a boy mech. What? I bought a boy mech yesterday. What do you mean, Valley? I bought a boy mech yesterday. Was it wrong? It's never wrong. But how do you buy a boy mech? Too, I'm too rich for anybody. You can't simply buy a boy mech. <clears throat> I 
That's probably why I'm single too. No one can afford me. <laughs> so best streamer to sell and could not resist. <laughs> Nobody. You own me. My stream has your name written all over it already, Rally. Oh, by the way, my QK65 has shit. Hopefully it will get to me in a couple of days. Shipping directly from Shenzhen, so it should be really quick. And maybe give you guys a sneak peek next week. daily drag that board um, for a while it's gonna take it's gonna be in place of a mode 65 as my daily driver for now when I receive it if I ever get to build it with the sad music this is this is too sad
Dr. Wes, hello. You're back, welcome back. How are you? Hope everything's all right with you. Hello Alex, my wife said she met you. She said that your shlong is so long. It's bigger than a whale gong. And when she was with you she sang this song. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Bro. Facts. ing um ing ing um ing ing um ing ing pee pee. I didn't know you was gonna start so early, Dr. West. You're right though, it's facts. Like a whale, bro. That's what they say. But it's not true. I'm so sad. How have you been anyway? I think you wasn't here last week, right? But the week before you was. It's good to see you either way though. Why is your message banned? Good, still coping up with my dad's passing. Ah, well, if you ever need a chat, let me know. I'm happy to to talk. Hope I hope today you can get your mind off things. How did he pass anyway, if you don't mind me asking? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Welcome back, Dr. Thumbs. Heat stroke is serious. It's also really hot. It can get really hot here in Hong Kong and people do do die from heat stroke as well. I had a heat stroke before. My sister had a heat stroke. She's like really, really sensitive to heat. She gets like heat stroke every time she steps out of the bloody house. But it's serious stuff. I had a heat stroke when I went hiking too. 
I didn't even realize myself until somebody told me. By the way, it looks like you're having a heat stroke. Then it then it clicked. Then I then I stopped for a moment and then just tried to cool myself down with a lot of water. How how old how old was your dad? Fifty seven. Young. Very young. Stock switches, not loot. Is it loot? Doesn't sound like it's loot. The thing is now, <clears throat> with silent switches, everything seems to be louder, stabs and everything, and it's not lubed as well, so I can't tell, it's hard to tell if it's the rattle from the stab or the switch. Sounds like leaf pink. Now my chain, my dad's chain is mine. I keep it for <laughs> bro. <laughs> my son will probably never understand if I had a son. We'll never understand all these keyboards, all these metal keyboards laying around, and you'll probably just throw them away.
by the time my son is aware of this keyboard hobby I'll be like 65 years old There's no phone. No phone. Okay. Doesn't matter too much anyway. We're going with silent switches. Hey Dad, can I borrow the most expensive keyboard? Then give him your 67 light. <laughs> Wouldn't know. <laughs> you remember QK65? You'll have you. You don't need to touch no key cult. Seriously though, having expensive keyboards on your desk, which I really don't like to do, because people that are unaware that your keyboard is expensive. They'll start messing around and then they'll throw things at it like it's trash. You know, it's just a keyboard. So my sister might come in and goes, oh, by the way, I, I bought you this, I bought you that. And you start throwing it on my desk and just being unaware that, dude, there's a $2,000 keyboard here. You know, like, please be careful. I've had that happen quite a few times. Because they just think it's like a $25 keyboard. Like, bro. My camera too. I'm scared if you've never handled the camera before. I'm scared of giving you my camera. For real. <clears throat> but if I know that you're, you know, you've handled cameras, like, SLRs, mirrorless cameras before, then I'm okay giving you my camera to play with. If you haven't, then see you later. You're not touching it. Can I borrow your cheapest keyboard? Hands over to you. <laughs> I wish. I'll be more than happy to give why are all these pins bent to hell? I'll be more than happy to give a frog. Because that's not too expensive. If my son wanted a frog. Oh yeah, you can have a frog. Yo, Matt bent. You know? <clears throat> I'll give him a QK65 just to ease him into the hobby first. Tease him a little. I'll give him your razor, more expensive, more white. <laughs> He'd probably want the razor if I had one. I used to be a big Razor fan ever since the 90s. Cherry MX Blues. I think it's a Razor Black Widow, I think it was. With a, a Razor Diamond Back Mouse. 
Those were the days. I really like Razer because of the Razer Chroma as well, because I played a lot of Overwatch and the keyboard, the lights, the RGB strips and everything work with Overwatch. So whenever you play, special skills happen and things like that, your lights go off. Even my Nano Leafs at the back, when I play Overwatch, they'll switch onto Overwatch mode. And it's pretty damn cool. Your whole room lights up. Also works with games like um, Apex Legends and stuff. Really cool. When you're getting shot, it goes red. Or like Diablo 3, when a legendary item drops, it goes orange. When you're about to die, it glows, it glows in and out red. It's pretty cool. A lot of these such as events. These switches are not even bent, they're folded twice. Could go to sleep now. <laughs> Did you just have your lunch, Valley? Yep, food, food coma. It's a pretty chill stream today. I like it.
and concentrate on building this board. If I can get this done fast enough, I might do my personal one too. We'll see. So thanks, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for chilling with me tonight. you valley Random guy asked me on Discord if I want to buy all kings new. Who? From my Discord? Like, just straight up PMing you? I thought oil kings are supposed to be pretty nice switches. Everybody's talking about them. Why would someone PM, PM you to buy some switches? I don't get it.
Oh, almost forgot. What a new toy. Oops. I bought myself a USB fan, finally. I'm not sure if it's strong enough to pull the fumes away from me though, but we'll see. Watch it crash my computer when I plug it in. be nice but why do humans pm me to sell switches i do not ask for <laughs> exactly is someone in my discord pming people to sell stuff it's working it's actually pulling the fumes away nice No, it's not. It's still going in my face. It's not strong enough. I have to be quite close. I'm actually interested in who 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 that is, Larry. I should tell them. Um, we do have a market channel on Discord and tell them to post it there if he is from our Discord.
is za eight months already, Alex. Yo, flying with Dong, thank you for the eight months. Eight months already, dude. It feels like two months ago. It really does. Time flies. How are you doing? This fan is not doing much. I need a stronger one. I have to be really close to it. I'm doing well, thank you, Flying. Pretty chill today. I had a... I was supposed to build the Tech Shinobi uh, today. But uh, I had to get this build out the way and sent tomorrow. As this is a paid paid build not too often I get paid paid builds maybe once a once a month or so and then the rest of them are free builds Paid builds are any day of the week, not necessarily going to stream it. People that are in a rush for it rather than waiting for the free Friday stream build that I do every Friday. It's just a bit of bad timing really, how to get this build done for tomorrow. Oh, this must be eating dinner right now? Probably, because I think some of the restrictions has been lifted, right? I'm not sure if it's for today, is it? Or eight, eight people dinner restriction now compared to four. It's awesome though. About time. We can have dinner with more than four people. We can actually do some some sort of meetup, eight person meetup, without having to be scared. Hiding in some private building or something. So that's pretty cool. Meetup means I have to get key mats, dude. Go, 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 go. Get a few. What I've noticed with key mats, the 60% actually fits the 65% perfectly. If you don't want to see some mat spill out the keyboard on the sides, then I recommend getting the 60%. It's a perfect fit. I'm down for the meetup though. But I think it's going to be crazy busy everywhere now. Starting from May the 10th, 
where we get the second part of the consumption voucher. Everybody's going to go out and spend it. You don't mean humans gross. <laughs> I mean, right now we're down to 300 cases a day from something 40,000 or something. I don't know, I can't remember. We had a hell of a lot of case, COVID cases recently, and now it's dropped to 300. It was 300 today. That's pretty good. But I wonder if once the restrictions are lifted to eight people, the table in restaurants. I wonder what will happen then. Kind of scared. They're going to go on lockdown again. Momo bought a Bellroy product from the money. I'm also proud. Oh, with the money? Dude. I want a Bellroy wallet. I can't... I, I was talking to you about a Bellroy. One of the slim wallets. I can't remember which one it was. Could have so many. So I went back to look at it. And I couldn't figure out which one, which one I wanted. Initially. The Bellroy backpacks are also really nice too. I want to get like an everyday backpack for you know, just a lightweight thing to carry around around the city. Maybe put a keyboard in there. Put my camera in there or something. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> slim sleeve. Is that the one I was talking about? The slim sleeve. Do you guys have like the keyboard suitcase? Yeah. You gotta get some. You can get like one of these, like a mechanisk um, case. They ship from Shenzhen, by the way, if you buy it directly from their site. This one's a thick one. It's, uh, I think it caters to 60-65%, uh, this one. It's really good. This one's nice and thick. And then you have ones like, um, like the mold one, which I also like because it's really thin. You know, really thin and small. Easy just to slot into your bag and, you know, it's more stealth. Well, the mechanist ones are pretty big. <clears throat> so if you're going to carry that around, then maybe, maybe go for a thinner profile. T TX also do cases too. Uh, who else does cases? Monocade. Monocade does cases too. Those are pretty good. Pretty nice. but very thick. Sometimes when I go to meetups, I don't even carry a case. I just wrap my keyboard in cloth and just slide it into the bag because I don't want to have a thick ass bag, you know?
but if it's expensive, <clears throat> like your boards, then maybe invest in a big one, big chunky one. Okay. Let's test it out. Five stars, yo! How are you doing? Five stars, can you confirm? Is it eight people is it eight people now per per a table? But per table, per per thing imaging. Per 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 oh, missed one. We can go sing K and do a keyboard meetup at the same time. That'd be awesome. Flying Wudon was just uh, talking about meetup. the manager yes i think i can give us no vaccine needed like last time oh that might be hard no i was saying they didn't they lift the restrictions to eight people now that's what i i heard so meetups are much much easier now Zone SA, my favorite Hong Kong, but not really streamer. <laughs> not really a streamer, you're right. I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Just chilling today. Time has changed, so I'm not sure whether you can still give us that privilege. Yeah. Wait, he doesn't have the vaccine that you know. <clears throat> have you did, have you had the vaccine? I don't know anybody that's not had the vaccine. Stuff. 
Okay. I'm all right. It's just got the standoffs in for my NFR 70 kit. So just need feet and hot swap sockets for select orders and then it's ready for shipping. Nice. Are you soldering the hot swap sockets in yourself? You're doing an Ivy Works? That's what he does. Not sure how many hot swap kits he sells for the AV3, but the guy's a legend to solder all the hot swap boards himself. It's crazy. Even though if you're going ISO to an isolated top mount, <clears throat> you're still or stack mount, you'll need these uh whatchamacallit, what are they called? Plate caps installed. This bottom piece is like 200 USD alone. Crazy expensive. For the MCU, so I'm just going to include with the kits I see. How did it go anyway? Is it what you were expecting?
I'd hope for more sales, but I'll take it as good practice for this format. So in this case, I'm I'm not mad. I probably have been overwhelmed with too many orders. True, true. Take it easy. Oh. Yeah, honestly, you don't want to aim too high because you don't want to bite off more than you can chew, right? Experience is the main thing. I could only dream of starting my own grip buy from my own keyboard, honestly. It's never going to happen. Is that brass plate as well? It is. It's like almost the full brass uh, build. It's going to be heavier than my build for sure. Oh boy, yo! How's it going? Did you get a simple quote? Though for my next keyboard project and an artisan case. So I will order either this month or the next, which I'm pretty stoked about. Dude, I need artisan case. My artisan case is full. I was going to join the Kibi. The Kibi um, artisan group buy thing that happened like two days ago. I couldn't do it. Because if I wanted one Kiwi, I have to collect them all. It would annoy the hell out of me to not have them all. So I decided not to and invested my money into a camera lens. Instead. The camera lens was pretty expensive. Because buying all the Kiwis ended up being like 400 USD or something. I was like, bro, I'm not doing that again. I've done it with the 
with what you call it the the art key is serious is i was like dude that killed me art key serious costed me 800 and something us dollars just to get 10 of those crazy artisans so it's way too expensive if you want to do it you stop yourself oh you got the g master yes i did the new one i was like there ain't gonna be no g master oh this is perfect there ain't gonna be no g master if i buy the kiwi right so i was like fuck it it's about time i save some money not buying keyboard stuff you know So hopefully, in two weeks time, I get to collect my new lens. Not like you guys notice a thing anyway, because this is a G Master right now, a 35mm G Master. And it's like one of the sharpest lenses that Sony has to offer. You probably can't tell the difference to what I had previously, which was a Tamron 28-75, to which is a quarter of this lens's price. And it's just just as good, honestly, on stream. I'm wasting my money. I'm an idiot. G Master all the way. That's the plan. I want to change all my lenses to native lenses. Starting to. I might get a fake bongo thinking about what custom colors to choose. Wait, there's fake bongos? Well, I'm pretty sure there is, actually. <laughs> Don't say that here. <laughs> I watched the stream in a Chris Chris. If you're not watching the stream in 2K, like, the, you're, you're missing out on my face. This is hella gold, hella brassy. Love it. This client has taste. Like he went all out, like vintage kind of style, dude. I can definitely notice this is much more crisp. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to rewatch it because it's. I've got a tiny screen. You're probably right, it does look more crisp. Too crisp. Crisps. So hopefully the G Master um, will be just as crisp as this, but I'm able to zoom in and out. Right now, I had to increase my camera's height quite a lot because it's a 35mm prime. I'm scared because having a camera such so high up is scary. I don't want it to drop or anything. So every night, I take apart my camera and stuff and just store it in a dry cabinet because I don't want anything to happen to it. <clears throat> Can you show me your Kibi collection? I'm really into Kibis now, they're cute. Bro, I don't even have a collection. You say it like I have a lot of Kibis, bro. I don't. I wish. They're my cute. I wish I did buy it. I do have the money for it, but it just doesn't make sense anymore to I got these, I got the Auroras, I've got the... I can't remember what this one is called, I won that. That was like a 1 of 10 or something. And then this is the Mono K one. That's all I have. Oh, I got the Bento Rama too, from R1. I don't make these anymore, but I don't know when I can use my GMK Bento. If I had the black kiwi, if you had the black kiwi, trade you 
for an Aurora. Put that black kiwi right there. Or a white one. Fuck. Should have bought those kiwis. It's all your fault. Made a few revisions, but as renders I have on hand, sample is of the big one. Also made a design. Oh, let me see. Ooh, nice. Does it have a lid though? Please tell me it has a lid. It doesn't look like it has a lid. Check many, so many services. Uh, they're only, they're only fulfillment, like the kiwis. Still wish I got those kiwis though. Fuck, hate you. It's not that silence. It's scratchy. It's really scratchy. Because <clears throat> it's not lubed, it's stock. This one doesn't made an additional version of the big one that has tall walls and a lid. Nice. I much prefer ones with a lid. The last thing you want is something. I have a lot of stuff that drop from above. I have like shells above me. Every so often, something will drop. It could hit a keyboard. One artisan. Then I'll be very sad. I mean, this one's really cheap. This this artisan case, what's this called? Can't remember. Normal Boy recommended it. It was from Keyboard Republic. So. Uh, it was yeah, it was really cheap. It's uh, something like twelve US dollars or something. It's oh, it's acrylic, and I think it's just acrylic actually. But yeah, but it'll do. I'm not a serious artisan collector because if I didn't join the group buy for most of these series, I would only have a handful of of uh, of artisans, honestly. Dude, I can't hear anything. I can just hear scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. Oof. Wait. Let me caress it a little bit. Because it looks kind of hot. Why not lube? I don't know. Um. I really don't know. I was looking at the NRD nest. What's that? Oh, it's that another artisan case. But it's going to be so hard to get. Uh, there's also the Grey Studio one, if you're interested. That's in stock, I think. Bro. This is nice. But it reminds me of my board when it was brand new. I hope... I've hardly touched the brass on this. <clears throat> but I hope it doesn't end up being like this. But we'll see in due time. Huh? We'll see in due time. 
You're black and brass? Dude. Actually nice. I couldn't think of what keycaps to put on this, but I think this does its justice. Nice and clean with a brass accent. You can see through the brass in there. Actually nice. Is this straight? Straight. I should stop showing my ugly brass bottom. Showed it enough times. Mode's gonna kill me. Oh, speaking, not speaking, of, uh, where's it gone? I was going to show you guys. Oh, it's here. The switch breaking machine. It looks shiny. It looks really simple. There's a module here with micro USB. I don't know why. But uh, it works. So I had to dig out a micro USB cable. It's got a simple motor. And then you slide in these little housings for, for your switches. They're like two, two switch testers stuck together. But it's not. It's 3D printed. And then you got this piece, which just sits here and here. This piece is part of. No, it's not. There's another piece that's locked in. I don't know how it's locked in. It was probably screwed onto. Yeah. Seems like a really simple design, but effective. But it's pretty damn loud, though. These are vintage blacks right now. So I'm breaking those in. I did put in creams for about five hours or so. And it made the creams really smooth, like slippery smooth. I'm not used to it. It's it's stock, but with zero scratch. It's clean as hell. I believe if I do it a little bit more, like maybe another 10 hours or so. 10 hours is about 170,000 actuations. And these, these creams will be insane. You don't need the you don't need the off center module as well. The off center module you don't really need it. I've noticed that even you don't break it in off center, it's still mad smooth off center. Pressing it. How loud is this thing? We're about to find out. Oh. Dude, that's kind of loud. So I've been sitting, I've been sitting in my room for the past, past two days with this going off. So what I do, what I do, let me see. I just, I put my hat over it. I just found something that's like, put my hat over it. Then I put, I can't find it. I put another something else on top and then I put some, I put something else on top and then it's bearable but it's right next to me in my room there's no on off switch so you just plug it in and it goes so mind your fingers when you plug it in and this part if you look carefully it moves a little you see it moving a little bit so just be mindful of this part, it might turn all the way and then this cable is going to go, you know, wrapping, wrap, wrapping around it and stuff. But if you're going to cover it also, it does get hot. So don't, don't um, cover it for too long. 
Your parents gonna be like, what's Alex been up to these nights? <laughs> My dad actually said, what's that? Ta -ta 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 -ta? I was like, what was this? He goes, what is that? And I was like, oh my god, I'm trying to explain. I don't mind trying to explain keyboards to my dad. This is like... <laughs> Some stupid toy, I don't know what it is. You should put it in the corridor. I can't. My dad's out in the living room 24-7. Bro, I need this six at a time. No, nine times four. Yeah, there's another module, which you pay for. Um, but you add another two here, so it's like this, but four. But the price was expensive. It was like almost the same price of the whole the whole thing. So I was like, no, nah, there's no point. I could just well, if I was gonna buy the the four the four times module, I might as well buy two of these, right? Instead, because it was like similarly priced, but. This will do, I guess. I mean, yeah, I broke in creams, and creams were just super smooth. But it took me quite a while. Yeah, design is quite simple. It's this thick, these two tires that just roll around, and it hits this thing, pushes this together. And that's it, really. But I might recommend in spring swapping your MX Blacks first. Because the heavier your switches are, the more work the motor needs to do, the hotter it gets. Dr. West. Where do I get one? Dinky Designs. Dinky. Dinky designs. Oops, caps. Dave be clapping. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Clapping cheeks. Alex, I must respectfully request you to take it easy on my wife in the future. Moving forward, please hit it from the rear. <laughs> Trying to get into her puss puss now is like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Feels bad now. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Speaking of hot dogs, I actually watched a show on YouTube about sausages. <laughs> Don't worry, man. The hot dogs, the hot dogs in Hong Kong are pretty small and thin. The what was it? Juicy pie. How do you say juicy? Chef, chef sausages, the really famous ones in Hong Kong. They're small. I feel you, bro. <laughs> Time to water cool this bad boy. Dude, imagine somehow you can link the motor to to a uh, a water loop. Now it's not that hot. If you cover it, it gets hot. Hot to touch. Like you'll you'll you hold it and go, oh that's hot, and you put it down. So yeah. Just be mindful, I guess. Like I said, if you're gonna do MX Blacks, probably spring swap it first. Otherwise, it will get a bit too hot, I think. Which chef? Juicy pie. What's it called? Chef sausages, Hong Kong. Chicken Franks, Valley Chef. Here you go. Here you go. Check it out. Yeah! I hated these sausages because I came from Hertz. German Hertz sausages. I came from Hertz sausages, which are Hertha sausages. Hertha sausages. I came from Hertha sausages back in the UK. And these are really, really good. I still miss them today, but I kind of got used to the Valley Chef ones. They're cheaper. You can tell it's cheaper meat and it's made out of chicken. But I got used to it. I'm a, I'm a local now and I love it now. I put it in my, I put it in my noodles and everything. It, it's it's nice. The ones you can cut into little octopuses. Yes, that's what I do. For hot pots, I cut them 
in four and then I turn them into little ho uh, hospitals, <laughs> octopuses. Damn, when we when we going for a hot pot, we need a hot pot right now. Actually, I'm having hot pot tomorrow. Looks like I need to get some new creams to break it. Yes, try it out. You'll be very surprised on how smooth they get. Not those thick, small cheese ones. I, those I hate. Those I don't understand how majority of the people here love the cheese ones. I can't do the mini cheese ones. Dave, are you are you local? Where are you from? Those cheap cheese sausages that go in hot pots in the HK, yeah. I hate those. How are they even nice? I don't get it. I think I had this conversation with Rachel and someone, Karina maybe? And they said the same thing. Do, you hate, do I hate cheese balls? Wait, what are cheese balls? You mean beef balls with cheese inside? The explosive cheese ball ones? I know, I like those. Those are nice. The sausage, the cheese mini sausages are oh, mm, not so good. Monkey type. Okay. I don't know if you can hear anything, but let's give this a try. Okay. Okay. U40s. Silent tactiles. I don't remember. I think they just called U40s, right? Originally. Brass plate. Stack mount. More 65 with the brass butt. Yo, 101. Let's go. Did you guys hear anything? Whoa, buttons. It's just mad scratchy and super tactile as well. I love the tactility. The feedback is nice. I would have lived it myself, but yeah, it is what it is. Not local enough yet. <clears throat> I'm open to try food. I have tried cheese sausages. In fact, every time there's a hot pot and we have cheese sausages, I will eat one. But I don't enjoy it for some some reason. It was the same thing with the Valley Chef chicken sausages too. I didn't like it, but you know, eventually I I adapted. He just doesn't know. What do I know? What's so good about it? Tell me. Even Valley more local than you. Bro, that's disrespectful. Gaining monkey type right now. Whoop your ass. Time to lay some beatdowns. I feel 101 straight straight off the bat. I'm gonna whoop some asses tonight. Sounds so topper. 
Does it? Flying would know. Flying's a Topra user. I like the crunch on the outside. I feel that. I feel the crunch. And then cheese melts in your mouth. That's probably what I'm missing out on. I don't get the cheese melt in my mouth. I get the the crunch. And that was it. Cheese sausage. <laughs> Maybe I, I we got the cheap ones. I don't know. There's just so many. There isn't a brand, right? It's just like all the same. I'm hungry now. Shit. Zonis, have a good one. Take it easy. Looks so delicious too. Herter sausages, man. Herter sausages. You're going to melt them real good? Johnson's sausages in Hong Kong. Also really expensive, like $60 a packet. Got to caress them. Show me how you caress those mini sausages. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start. How are you feeling cheese sausage? Cheese sausage is going to win. Gio, yo, just wanted to say hi and look. Thank you. Hello. Enjoy your luck. I'm going to start. Don't care. Cheese sausage always wins. We'll see. If I win, cheese sausages suck. No. Oh my gosh. That's Momo Boy. Get out of here. There is no competition, no, no, it's like... Rachel, get in here, are you in here? Is that you? Guess two. Rachel, who is this? Etherak, hello! Do you recognize me? I recognize you! I wouldn't be surprised that this is you. You want to come in, Etherak? Yeah, come. How can you not recognize my words for a minute? It's 100 plus. Definitely not cheese sausage though. This is this Momo boy right here. This is this is Rachel. Right, I'm gonna try hard. Better not screw up. Whoop you. I send you a distraction on Discord? Oh dear. Let me see. Yo! Why you do that? Stop it. Three, two, Oh, almost had you, Rachel. Actually, I didn't almost had you. I screwed up at the start. Oh, so did you. Those thighs choked you? No way. Thunder thighs, that's what they call them. Stop send, send those pictures later. Send more, just not now. You got me tab swapping? Dude. I'm going to beat you. If you keep this up, 101, I'll whip your ass. Thunder thighs? What the frick? 
I'm getting pretty quick these days. Great job catching up. God, oh my God, I can't be Rachel. 117, I can't beat you. Look at the consistency on that. Insane. And then Thunderfly screwed up at the start, like mad slow start, and then just bolted. Her thighs bolted to 160 words per minute. You are insane. Who's this? Best five. Who's beating me? Redemption? Who's that? There ain't no redemption. Oh, we still can next test it. I'm going to do a 15 second test. <clears throat> what? I can't ready. Is this? What? What's going on? Oh, I can next test it now. Nice. 15 minutes. Guys, be prepared. I'm in second place. Don't care. Oh, I was running so well. Still can't be. I would have beat you, Rachel. No, I wouldn't have. Fuck. I was running so well. Does the pressure get to you at the end and at the start? Because you seem to be screwing up at the end. It's not working. Oh, is that not you? Ooh, flying. Hello. Can you show me the back, please? Yes, Etherak. Do we want Zach? Let me paste this into chat if someone wants to join real quick. The back is clean. It's like brand new. It looks really vintage for some reason. Nice and, it's actually quite loud this board from the back yeah but it looks really clean from the top is it mine no it's not mine it's uh, a client's kind of jealous that he has a clean brass bottom and I don't who's still me Oh, is Rachel trying to change her name? How do you change your name? Someone tell Rachel. Just swap it, dude, I wish. I mean, mode swapped it out for me for a polished silver anyway, so it's good. I found a black top from a mold 65, should receive it next week. What do you mean you found one? Where? Number four is Rachel. Alright. Where what? Tio? 
Oh, when you you found a black top. Frick! I screwed up so hard here. I was doing 130 words per minute consistent until I screwed up here and then it stayed down here. I was 130 consistent. I beat you though, Gressry. Just have to log out and then change name and then go back with code. How to change. You might need to go to this link, Rachel. Go to that link and then it says change name at the bottom here. Your role is my word per, word per, word per minute. I hate you. It is. I hate you. Our friend Joanne had one left. How did you just have a black top left? From a mode 65. Nice. It worked. We got two Rachels. What the frick? You told my mode 65 with only one top. The other one had a little nick in it. Oh. Imposter Rachel has to ready up. Next. See if it's true. My roll is your words per minute. I'm going to go hard. I'm confused of which Rachel's rich, but it's obviously this is Mobile Boy. Don't get wrecked, Rachel. You will falter one time. <laughs> you will falter one time. And that's where I beat your ass with cheese sausages. Guess three. I still don't know who you are. Wow, everybody left. Just me and the real Rachel. One on one then. Give you no pressure. Let's this do a quick quick one on one. Don't say it. Yes. I beat your ass with Chef Valleys. See your bar. Frick! Oh my god, we're so close. <sighs> I I saw you making some mistakes. I was like seeing our bars doing this all the time. Bro, we're so close. I screwed up, stumpy cock. <coughs> Even after I spammed for the last second. Did you? Oh, you did. Your roar was mad high in the last second. You were going for it. Wait, 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 it's here. Sorry, 
I was going for it too. You went for it. You're like rocket. Right there. I see your plan. Spam in the last second. Oh, we can't next test it. Frick. I'll make another lobby real quick. Last lobby. Tonight's quiet. I like it. Change name. Create room. This one. I'm going to leave the music on because you probably can't hear anything but scratch. You forgot to change your name. <laughs> you need to change your name again. So you couldn't sell as a stock. All right, back to looking. All right, Gio. That's awesome. Ah. Who's ah? <laughs> Is that you, Rich? People coming in and out. Are we ready? That's not... Cow Cow's here? No. Let me put... Uh... Put some retro rave on... Rave? Ready, ready. These got the better early rating. What are you rating? Starting three. Two, what? Six, not bad, dude. Rachel, GG's. I'm catching up to you though. You better be careful. I am improving. Poor Razor Keep. Who's that? We don't talk of Razor here. GG's. What, again? Alright, I'll do it again. My fingers. I screwed up. Not you. I screwed up. I screwed up. I think we're all getting tired now, I think. Helen Mumek and chat. How's everyone going? Jeep, hello. Yeah, I think we all consistently done worse than that one. GG's. Well played. I feel like you def I feel like you did def do well with light switches. I think it's the tactile. I think I'm tactile guy now. It gives me that feedback. And I'm like, mmm, mmm. Like it's I crunched it, you know. It feels that way. If it was linears, I don't feel any feedback, so I don't know. I fat finger so easily. Maybe I should change the tactile switches. I might rebuild this one day with tactile switches. We'll see. I do have some tactile switches ready. If... Uh... What the hell is it? 
Let's see. I put the U4T stems in Hyperglide brown switches and it feels like a more rounded U4T. Not sure how it sounds yet. I've not mounted these yet, but it's pretty tactile. It's nice, nice and smooth. So I can't wait to try this onto something. I'm working my words for minutes on tactiles. I really can't type on linears, right? I think, I don't know. It's so easy to fat finger on on linears, I, in my opinion. For me anyway, I seem to make more mistakes on linears, whereas tactiles, I, I do quite well. Finger started to die, I know. Nice animation. One more. Oh, we just, oh, we just done. Don't like you anymore. Wait. No linears, no cheese, no love. <laughs> Tried on silk rosettes. Ah, those are really smooth. Maybe too smooth. I don't know. I think tactile is the way to go. I was actually consistently 90 plus a hundred a few times on tactiles. I think it's time to go back to tactiles. Try long pole linears. Mm. I have uh, U4T linears. Maybe I should give that another try because I quite like those. Those are really nice long pole linears though. All right, Jeep, good night. Thank you for dropping by. Don't really like when I can't feel the switch. Yeah. You don't have that subconsciousness of like activating your switch, you know. Same with gaming. I fat finger skills quite often. If the if it's under 65 grams, I fat finger. Like WASD, I fat finger all, all the time just by resting on it because I have fat hands and it just dips down without me knowing and I press everything and, and then just and then things just screw up from there. Thank you, Etherak. Actually fin finishing stream early today. Two hour twenty. I can't game on tactile? I can. As long as it's not too heavy and not too tactile, it actually feels good. It's actually okay. You should try it. You have enough boards already, Bali. You should try some tactiles on on another board one day. Cherry Browns, bro. <laughs> Cherry Browns, I because I dismantled those cherry browns to put U4T stems in it and cherry browns felt like nothing. It was horrible. But they do sound nice. Cherry browns sound nice. What switch is the best for gaming? I get, seriously though, I get asked that question quite a lot. What switch do you recommend? What's best for gaming? I play Osu. And I'm like, bruh. I don't I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> On you 40s right now. U forties are nice. Uh if you're after, if you're after a tactile switch though, U forties is probably my go to switch to recommend somebody a tactile. Not Holy Pandas. Holy Pandas is way too expensive for what it is now. U4Ts is probably, probably still is one of the best tactile sounding switch in the game right now, in my opinion. Depends on the person. It does. It does. Cherry Brown feels like linear in comparison. Bobo U4Ts or Holy Pandas or Telios. Exactly. It's so scratchy and useless. It's, it's weird. Mm. 
Holy Panda Spacebar forever. Well, Holy Panda Spacebars do sound really good. Best sounding spacebar I've had is from the Holy Panda. And maybe... Maybe from the Marshmallow Switch as well. The Muff Stuff, hello! <laughs> Just about ending the stream, good morning to you. Zelios expensive too, but nice. Those are yeah, they're really nice. Zelios. If you want, if you want the gate, the OG Gatoron uh, sound profile from a tactile switch, then Zelios is a good way to go. Expensive though. Gives you sero what's up serotonin. Serotonin is a chemical nerve cells produce. Send signals between your nerve cells. Serotonin is found mostly in the digestive system. Although it's also in blood cells and throughout the central nervous system, serotonin is made from the essential amino acid tri tryptophan. That doesn't tell me what it does. Oh, it, okay. Serotonin plays a key role in such body functions as mood, sleep, digestion, nausea, wound healing, bone health, blood clotting, and sexual desire. <laughs> what the frick? Holy Panda Spacebar gives you sexual desires, Rachel. Let me get a Holy Panda Spacebar out real quick. I don't have a keyboard to do that. Sorry. Happiness. Well, it's not all happy, is it? Serotonin. Gives you di mood, sleep, digestion, nausea, bone health. But how do you get serotonin? How do you get it? Give me some. I made BCPs, Kex on Ice. BCPs are nice too. I, I, I love, I, I like BCPs. I don't love it, I like it. Happy things equal serotonin. Right. But it's not all happy though, from 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 the wiki. Serotonin. Happy thoughts. Holy panda spacebar. Isn't it more good sounding keyboard good sounding keyboards are therapeutic, I think. It feels nice and I can't stop pressing the keys. Once you know, once it sound, once you build a keyboard and it sounds nice, I can't stop pressing it. It just feels so good to press it, especially these tactiles. I want to do it, but I'm just gonna ruin the stream. But yeah, I have a keyboard fetish. What's that? I'm sad because I missed the stream, but I'm in shambles now. Why? What's up? Hope everything's okay. Next week. Next week's going to be an interesting build. What is this? Serotonin plays a key role in... Oh. Am I speaking that loud? I'm speaking too loud. I'm very sorry. <clears throat> oh, I see. Holy Pandas are nice. One of my favorite tactiles, as well as U4Ts. Bro. You like it loud? You like it quiet? Silent and quiet? You know, sneaky, sneaky kind of quiet? <laughs> If you like Holy Pandas, you like it loud. Today's build is quiet. Ooh, there's a lot of streamers on today. <clears throat> I'm Elvin Zanyard. Stottle Keeps. No wonder stream's quiet. Lots of streamers on today. Who should we raid today? 
I've not raided any of those in a while. Is there any new ones? Holy empanadas, holy empanadas, holy empanadas, holy empanadas. <laughs> holy empanadas. <laughs> what? I like it so loud that it keeps my neighbors away. Bro. I hope Tofu's neighbors live really far away. <laughs> I'm gonna... Let's see what Zanyard's up to. It's been a while. He's streaming for two hours. Looks like he's still busy. All right, I'm gonna raid Zanyard today. It's been quite a while since I raided him. Well, since I've seen him, actually. Right, guys. Uh, do I have something else to show you guys? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm done. I showed you the switch breaking machine. Dinkies, dinky designs, if you guys are interested. Dinky designs. If you're interested in a switch in... I'm, sp I'm spelling so bad right now. <clears throat> I'm an idiot. This thing. It works. You do not need an off-center module to break in your switches. This thing for 45 bucks nah, saves me months of work trying to break it in myself. But it also takes 24 hours to break in each switch. So it's all nice and smooth. My creams are really smooth right now. So I'm going to keep going until it gets even more smoother. So apparently after about 20 hours, you hit a plateau where the you don't get much more out of it so there's no point after 20 hours of breaking in your switches so i'm gonna keep going gonna do it on some other switches as well and probably in my next build i'm gonna build something with creams super smooth creams or something i think it's worth it 45 bucks i think it's it's not bad honestly it saves me months of work <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Good luck on your raid tomorrow. Is it Final Fantasy raid? Do you actually feel a difference in broken creams? Yes. It feels too smooth. It feels slippery. There is no no longer any scratch. I don't feel nothing. And it's really weird. I can only hear the spring ping because it's unlubed. Obviously, you're breaking your switches when it's not lubed. I don't know. It feels hella slippery for stock. Maybe it's something I can get used to. Maybe it's something it's not. We'll see. But um, for a stock switch now, that it, an unlubed stock switch, it's really, really smooth. I'm very impressed. Almost Gatoron X like. Gatron X are really smooth stock. It's almost Gatron X like. I quite like it. I'll try it on a build one day. Sell your break in switch services. If someone asks me to break in switches, depending if I can hide the switch, break the machine somewhere where I can't hear it or my parents can't hear it, then, you know, and do it for 20 hours for them, I'll charge. I'll charge you. Do you actually... Oh, sorry, I read that one. Oh, it just lost the arc, right. Then I'm going to get some. Get some! It's only 45 bucks. 45 bucks is well worth it. And spending a month's time trying to break in your switches. And you can do it in 20 hours with that machine, honestly. Is that blue cream? It is blue cream. 65, 63.5 gram spring is what I like. They'll pay you with McDonald's. No, I'm down. I mean, I wish I could just plug it in and leave it but it's on my bed covered with my blanket just to mute the sound a little bit but it still annoys the hell out of me it's hard to put up with honestly 
Of course you have to pay me to put up with that shit. <laughs> That's it, that's the name. It's not called Blue Cream, is it? It's called Launch Edition Creams. Yeah. I bought those because of the 63.5 gram spring. My kind of weight. Right. I'm talking too much. Rachel, message me. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Stop it. Stop distracting me. I'm going to raid Zaniard. Today, it's been a while. See. Say hi to him and I'm gonna pack up and uh join Discord and I think Valley is usually on Discord. Yeah he is. Yeah, I'll chat to Valley for a little bit. And then uh, head off early today. Thank you everybody. Zero, thank you. The muff stuff. Thank you, GRN, thank you, Rachel, thank you, everybody, thank you. See you guys next week for a Tex Shinobi. Very interesting build. Uh Invalid username. Done. Well, you didn't miss much, much stuff. It was pretty much a chill stream. Yeah, it was quite quiet today, which was all right. Got uh, that's probably why I finished early too. Didn't get much distractions today. It's good to see you though. The most stuff. We'll uh. We'll play again next week. Thank you, Zero. Take it easy. Take it easy, everybody. Uh, take care. Bye.